All you have to do is to go to image to prompt website and you can upload anything you want, any art, any image, non-AI art, whatever you want, click on in here choose whatever you want, hit open and click on submit right there. It's going to do a lot of its AI calculation, interrogation. Let's see what it does. Well, that's doing a lot of fancy stuff. And boom, there, my friend, you have your prompt. You have the content explained right here. You have the artist inspiration. You have the style. This is gold. Now, what happens if we dial the same prompt in mid journey or stable diffusion? And what if I told you there's another website which is a bit slower, but creates more descriptive prompts? Let's find out. These days you can type in anything you want and AI platforms like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, DAL-E will create incredible art or photos for you. You don't have to be a professional artist. As long as you have good ideas and you know how to describe what you want, bingo, there you go, sir. Here is your piece of art. But what if you have a vision in mind, but you don't know how to explain the style or the content of that vision to AI? Well, now you have another AI to explain that vision for you, to create the prompts for you. And that's what the video is all about. It's like you already have a self-driving car, which works perfectly, but you don't want to do the hard work of explaining where to go. And now you have a program to do the explanation for you. Let's take a look at these platforms. So the first AI that we're going to be talking about is image to prompt. We already uploaded our image right here. And here we have the prompt. I'm going to link it up in the description so you don't have to type all that. So I took this artwork from Midjourney community and it was created by this artist, this user on Midjourney. And let us say this is the style that you like. There's something about this image or style that you like that you would like to explain to the AI and modify it to create something of your own. You're inspired by this. So if we go ahead and type in this exact prompt in Midjourney or Stable Diffusion, do you think it's going to create something very, very similar? By the way, this is just a guess by AI when it looked at the image. Before we get into dialing this prompt, let us take a look at one more platform which I think performs a little better and creates more descriptive prompts. But then again, keep in mind it is a little slower. And this, my friend, is the Clip Interrogator and you can run it through Google Colab. You don't have to install anything. All you need to do is to go to this link linked up in the description and just play these codes. That's all. Play them, run anyway. Now, as you can tell, it is going to load a lot of codes, install a lot of models, and that is why this is a little slower method than the first one. But if you want a little more detail and you're willing to wait, this is the one to try. Now, as you can tell, it is processing artists, flavors, mediums of artwork, what's trending. So it is loading all of those intricate data and details to generate these prompts. And there you go. Finally, it seems to be done. Now let's play this one image to prompt. And there you go. It creates an interface for you where you just have to drop the image. So we're just going to drag and drop in this image right here and click on submit. Let's see what it does. And by the way, you have three options right here. Best is for best results, of course. Classic may refer to a classic version. And fast just creates fast results at the cost of not that high quality results. So as you can tell, it is still processing by looking at the running numbers right here. And there, my friend, you have your prompt. As you can tell, this is more descriptive. It writes punk woman, maybe because she has a lot of tattoos. It is interesting that image to prompt and clip interrogator, both of them named Anna Dittman as an artist inspired by Anna Dittman right here. Let us take a look at Anna Dittman's work and see if it is closer. So this is Anna Dittman's website. And as you can tell, it is a very, very similar style. Might not be the exact same style, but it does share a lot of similarities, especially if you look at artworks like these right here. See that? It is very much similar, especially with these women and flower and all of those decorative items it is closer. Now here comes the time of real testing. We're going to dial in these exact prompts in Mid Journey, Dream Studio, aka Stable Diffusion and Dal E. And let's see how close it is to the artwork that we submitted for guessing of prompts. So here in Mid Journey, we will first try just the prompt from image to prompt platform. So let's just copy it. And here in Discord Mid Journey, we're going to type in forward slash imagine prompt and paste that exact prompt. Let's process it. By the way, if you don't know how to work this, we have a dedicated video, a complete guide. So you can watch that to get up and running after watching this video. Now it is done. As you can tell, it does copy the same content, but the style and the colors are not as much similar. Now you may already know that you can also use an image as a reference. So let's try that. For it, we need to first upload the image right here. Once it's uploaded, click on it, open the original one, and then just copy the link from the address bar. Go back to Discord and let's write in the prompt again. Imagine 
first of all, we need the image link right here. So I'm going to paste it and then you can type in the prompt as you wish. So I'm going to copy the prompt from right here. We have to paste it right after the link. And after that, I'm going to type in a parameter, which is image weight. And that is how much weight or importance are you going to give to that reference image while generating the artwork? So the higher the number, the more the weight you have towards the reference image. I'm just going to type in two and hit enter. This is better than before, but as you can tell, still not much similar to this one. Now let's try the prompt from clip interrogator. To save time, I have already run the prompt with and without image reference. And as you can tell, this prompt is much closer to this one. And this just explains how much more explanatory or descriptive the prompt from clip interrogator is. So that is the one to use if you want more descriptive results and you're willing to wait. But that doesn't mean that image to prompt is bad. If you're looking for quick ideas, this is great too. Now I'm sure you have noticed that if we create an artwork in mid journey, all of the humans in general, not in all of the cases, but in general, look the same. Have a look at the faces right here. Have a look at the faces right here. They all kind of look like cousins. So let's go ahead and try Dream Studio, AKA Stable Diffusion. So we know that clip interrogator prompt is better. So you're just gonna type in that prompt first without any reference. Now, as you can tell, this is crazy, crazy close. Let us play it a few more times. Click on Dream again. There you go, another close result, but the style is a little different, but still much closer than Mid Journey. This is so much more close. If you look at the original one, have a look. They're like drawn in the same room, even though by different artists, but they agreed on something similar. Now, what if you also give a reference in Stable Diffusion? Well, let's do that. Show the editor. Upload an image by clicking on this button. Let's choose this image. And now we're going to paste in the same prompt right here. And here is an important slider, which is image strength that determines how much the result is going to be similar to the reference image. So let's go ahead and decrease it to about 30%. If you don't want that much similarity, click on dream. And this, my friend, is crazy close. It is just creating different versions of the same image. Let's go back to the editor and decrease the image strength even more, like about 15%. Let's dream again. We don't want to create the exact clone. We just wanted ideas from it. Now, this is interesting. Now you can use this as an inspiration and modify the prompts according to your style, according to what you want, according to your content and get inspired from it. And just for the sake of it, let us try the same prompt in DALL-E. I mean, we didn't even give any reference. Let's generate one more time. By the way, before we generate one more time, take a look at this. These are just amazing. I mean, they are different styles of the same image. By the way, in DALL-E, you also do have an option to upload an image and generate variations, but that's not what we want. We are just interested in the style and take a look at these. I already love two of these. This is amazing. This is incredible. There you go. So that, my friend, is image to prompt technology. Make of it what you may. Some people might call it stealing. Others might call it inspiration. I leave that up to you. Let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I think you're also going to enjoy watching this video where we used AI to edit photos. Just take a look at it. Also, in this video, we created a girlfriend. I created a girlfriend for myself using AI. And you can too. Girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever you want. Thank you so much for watching this one. And I would like to thank all of these nice and amazing people for making this video possible for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.